Hello everyone! Hello! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Gina. I'm Derek. And we're DNG Thrifts. DNG Thrifts. So in today's video, Friday! 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 Woo Friday! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Actually, today's not Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Well, I'm doing it in lieu that people would yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. Friday! This isn't a live recording. <laughs> I, don't, I was thinking today was Friday when you said that. Oh, because it so is I Friday. I got excited. Here, <laughs> just so smidge. technically, it is Friday. You're watching this. If you're watching it on its premiere day, yes, it's Friday. Now, if you're watching this three years from now, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but today is Friday, and today is our video. But not Friday the thirteenth. No. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. What is the date? Uh, today's the uh, 20th. So the 21st? So it'll be the 21st. 19, 20, 21, 22nd, I think. I don't know. It doesn't Check really matter. Check your calendar if you're it not. It doesn't a... really matter. But that's not our job. We're not really here to tell you the time, just oh, the day. I can tell you right here. It's the 21st today. So you are watching this if you're watching it on the premiere date. On the 22nd. The 22nd. Now we know. Now we can wow. move on. Wow. <laughs> Thank goodness. Whew. Yeah. Okay. So today we're going to have a lot of stuff of talking, but very few of showing because we have been very, what would be the term? Frugal. Frugal. Yes. <laughs> We've been very frugal this week. Uh, I only have a few things. You only have a few things. I have twice as many few things as you have. Yes. Which isn't a lot. Correct. Uh, but we're going to show you what we've purchased this week because we've, we've been going out. We've just been yeah, like... We're going out as used as we usually do. We pass up stuff we we're normally would buying. get because it's like, we just don't have room for it. Yep. And All right. Should I start? Oh, and also, so we're going to show you what we got. We're going to show you what we sold. We're going to show you the most ridiculous item of the week, and they're pretty good items this week uh, that you can vote on. And uh, we can also, we'll tell you, the winner of last week's most ridiculous item because uh, we're just doing one video a week for now. So uh, stay tuned for that. Okay. So we will start with what we picked up this week. I picked up this linen shirt. It's called Habitat. This was... Did I pay $7.99 for this? I guess you did. <laughs> I'm surprised I did. It must be worth a lot. <laughs> you must have looked it up. I must have looked it up and decided $7.99 <laughs> was worth it for this linen top. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> wow, I paid $7.99 for this. Huh. <laughs> so that's number one. And it's a medium. Why medium linen. Two items. Okay. And since we're talking about linen... Let's linen. do another, another linen. This is a brand. I've never showed you guys this brand before. I never used to purchase this brand, but then I saw people saying how well it does for them, so I picked it up. I have noticed the thrifts do mark it up, though. Gucci. So, uh, obvi no. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they do know about this brand. Soft Surroundings. I have no idea who sells this, which, like, where you can get it. I don't know. I don't even know. It's a linen, real cute, linen striped dress. And it's a size large. And I also paid $7.99 for this. Huh. I think I might have got these at the same time. Probably. It was during when they're pricing everything at $7.99. Yeah. Uh, I picked up... I'm just going to go back and forth. Uh, this was at the Ark, uh, and I was just I just go through the jackets all the time because I'm always looking for old military jackets. Like you know, I like military jackets, uh, and this kind of popped up. It's a barber vest, uh, which is nice. Uh, I did actually pay. I forget what I paid. I paid more you than. Paid up. I remember. I did pay up on this one, uh, but it is a barber vest. It's a size extra large. Um, I have a similar vest. Uh, this you is sure you didn't get that at Pig and Pearl? I'm sure. Okay. This was a ARC. Uh, this is currently on eBay because I did post it the moment I got it. That's oh, why the tag is missing. That's why the 
Ah. Yesterday I was taking pictures <laughs> and I took took a picture for eBay. Right. I'm actually putting stuff on eBay again. I'm being good, getting stuff on. I took my picture and then I realized, oh, I left the Goodwill tag on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, I just redid it, but right. wouldn't that be funny? I've always been fearful of leaving the tag on and mailing it to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> see how much you actually you know they pay twenty dollars for it and i pay 2.99 or something yeah. and i'm like oh. but if you're watching this you know that's what we do that's we're that's not we we're do. not hiding anything yeah uh, why would we do this if we weren't making money right we're not independently wealthy uh, no. if we were we would just give it away yeah we <laughs> well we wouldn't even no we would still shop for I would, ourselves i would still go to the i would still buy my clothes at the thrift store yeah uh just because Anyway, so anyway, that's what I picked up. One of the items. All right, I will continue. I picked up this dress, April Cornell. I have sold this brand before, that's why I picked this one up. It's a, it's kind of a almost ombre, a tie dye, ombre style. Would you say? It said it's almost tie dyed. Well, yeah, like at the bottom, it's like dip dyed. Yeah, like dip -dyed. they dipped part of it. Like up to here, they dipped it. Anyway, <laughs> I paid seven ninety nine. What is with you? What is with me and seven ninety nine? And I what's don't... with the seven ninety? It said it should be five ninety nine. <laughs> well, it's because they put seventy nine, and people like yeah. you buy it, so they go, hey. People like me. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Keep going. Here is another dress. This one isn't this pretty. I think I actually own this dress. Well, you like, do. I think, well, I know I, I own this dress, but I think I actually, I was gonna look in my closet. <laughs> I think I actually own this dress. Isn't it cute? So this is anthropology, and this is Leaf's daughter, something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a brand that is sold at anthropology. And pretty sure, I have this in my closet. Either that or I sold this in the past. This is the trouble with thrifting and what you like. I've done this a lot of times. You go to the thrift store and you You're gonna, see... I'm gonna be in the thumbnail on this. Okay. And you see something you like and you think, wow, I think I should get that. And then you realize the only reason you think you should get it is because you have one in your closet. Uh, and it's also the same way when you donate stuff. You'll, you'll see the stuff you donate. I know. And you're like, oh, that looks I interesting. That. I hate when that I, happens. I like to get that. And you're like, oh, no, I donated I that. Don't. That's mine. <laughs> that was mine. I paid $3 for this, by the way, at Pig and Pearl. So it's 100% silk. It's really nice. This is a size medium. It is nice. Yeah. It reminds me of a story. A story? Uh, a, a past childhood story. Back when I was a little kid, uh, Ooh, uh, like stories. my dad was a teacher and uh, he was telling me that he saw a kid walking down the, the hallway this would be elementary school and he saw on the tag it said Derek <laughs> because we had donated some clothes and that family had Aww. bought the clothes and he saw the because it like probably looked familiar <laughs> and it was actually my shirt that, that's kind of sad not really I mean it's yeah. <laughs> anyway, that reminds me of a story of yeah. like your your stuff being recycled. I mean, that's the whole point. That's kind of cool, though. It gets recycled, and you know, it was just, I, I probably outgrew it. Wait, it's, wait, what kind of shirt was it? I don't know. It was probably a t-shirt or something. It wasn't like a baseball shirt with your name on it. No. Oh, okay. No, it wasn't that. Okay. I would have kept that as oh, okay. memento. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, that was just a story. Do you, have you ever seen your clothes <laughs> on someone, on someone else. else? That's kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, well, I got, the, I got this at the thrift. I got this, this at the thrift. This is someone else's. <laughs> yeah, this is something else's. It's, yeah. The t-shirt wasn't. The t-shirt was new, but the top, the J. Crew from thrift store. This is free people. It looks nice. It looks new. Does it? Yeah. It's not. It looks old. Does it look new old, or does it look Well, I'm old just trying new. to make you happy. It's saying that. Okay. <laughs> it looks new to me. Uh, right. I picked up this, I don't know, I'm, I'm picking up sweaters, and maybe I shouldn't be picking up vests and sweaters. I should be, because I'm going to be hanging on to these things for a while. But this is a cool, this is a Scott Officer. And it's this cool 
heathered wool and it's 100% uh, pure new wool uh, made in Scotland. And Scott Officer, I guess, is a somewhat of a pretty good brand. I, I looked it up and it actually was bringing pretty good money for the Scott Officer brand. It's just you have to find a guy that wants a sweater now and not a sweater in eight months from now. Uh, but this is, I forget what I paid for it. Uh, it wasn't that much, but it's currently on eBay. So if you're interested. You're good. Oh, I was just like, I had it. On. Well, cause I only I had, had like three process. items. If you look, <laughs> if you could see behind you, you could see, <laughs> you could see my mannequin. Don't let me show you. So I'm going to mess up the, the camera real quick. Back here. This, I'm in the middle of taking photos and you can see what I'm currently working on. That's that Kate Spade skirt. Remember that? I'll let you fix it. Since I no, it's it. great. I think it's fine. <laughs> Let's just do it like this. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is the next thing I picked up. This is Anthropology Pilcro. That says Pilcro. Trust me, it says Pilcro. Cute flannel, blouse type sleeve shirt. Kind of looks like you. Yeah, I know. It's not my size. It's a size large. And I think I got this at Pig and Pearl for three bucks. This is her style. If you, if you want her style, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. If you want to dress like me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess I'll do my last thing because... I just have one item and it's oh. not even a big item. Oh, go ahead. All right. Uh, I went to an estate sale. Uh, yesterday. Uh, Without me, I didn't get to go. You weren't with me. I was waiting for plants. I had plants being delivered, so I had to stay. She home. had to stay, and I went out, and I thought I wasn't going to go to it, but then it wasn't that far away, and I went to it, and it really wasn't worth. And going I was going to gonna film. Yeah, we were going to film. That uh, was the plan for the week. There was, it was, apparently, it was a house of a person that was an eBayer, so it was like just full of junk, <laughs> for the most part. Like there was no rhyme or reason it was just uh but they did have a couple things uh and i only got one item uh it's i used to collect vintage paperbacks this is from 1957 this is gunfight at the okay corral first edition uh, and it's a movie avon 774 if you're into vintage paperbacks but it was so minty uh it was increased it was just it's a great book uh <clears throat> And there's some fun money in the vintage paperbacks, uh, some no money in vintage paperbacks, but some money in some of them. So it depends on the artist, depends on the author, depends on the subject matter and the type of the, uh, the publisher. Because uh, some people like collect like every Dell. So they have to own every Dell. So like if you have like, even if I mean, I remember I had a, it was a crossword puzzle book from Dell, but it hadn't been written in. And it was worth like $70 because those, you know, people would do crossword puzzles. Did and, you sell it? Yeah, I sold it. On eBay? Probably. <clears throat> I mean, I had, I, j I sold what I had left. It was about 700 of these things. Uh, the nice thing is they don't take up a lot of room because they're just little paperbacks. But uh, they were meant to be thrown away back in the day, so that's why they have some value. So don't throw them away. Uh, <laughs> keep them or sell them, but don't throw them away. All right. My yeah. last item. This is something we discovered that kind of, should it be like our, our thing? Our thing? <laughs> I picked up this. Oh, you mean blazer. just <laughs> just men's blazer? But no. Or oh, women's. Look, D and G. D and G thrifts. But this is Dolce and Gabbana. They stole our D and G. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's how I was saying. Maybe this should be our like. Our logo. Yeah. We could. We could like steal it and then just. Swap yeah. it around a little bit. But this is a men's jacket. I think it's linen. You and the linen. I know. I'm like totally looking for linen these days. That's probably in the pocket somewhere here. Yeah. Mm, no. Viscose and wool. But it feels like linen. It has like a linen feel about it. Um, $3.00. At Pig and Pearl. How could I pass up Dolce and Gabbana for three bucks? I'm not gonna pass it up. And the size, what is this one? It'll be in the pocket. The tag. Go 
What does it say? There. 50. 50. But... 50. Is that big? It may not be an American 50. It could be an Italian 50. It looks pretty big, though. It does look big. Derek will be wearing this. I'll be wearing my, my D&G official <laughs> D&G blazer. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. That's what we purchased. It's not that much. Nope. Not much at all. Um, 15 minutes worth of stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Most of it was us probably just blabbering. blabbering. <laughs> Because right. that's what you get when you watch yeah. our channel. You get to see cool stuff and a lot of blabber. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so what are we doing now? Let's do this week's winner. Of the most oh, ridiculous No, thing. I didn't even look up to see. Well, let's do it. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do a quick little yeah, search go, on the phone. We had to go look, look it up, see who but won. through the magic of editing. <laughs> <laughs> so guess who won? Birdman. Birdman. Birdman won. Overwhelmingly. Oh, my, I always say, you know, like overwhelmingly. 15 to 1. No, 3. Or 15 to 3. <laughs> but there were some people that voted for both at the same time, so they kind of canceled each other out. Uh, so really, it was more than that. It was probably like 18 to 6. But they, I didn't cancel. I, if, they, if they did the same thing, then You're I just. confusing me. You won. Yay! <laughs> 15 to 3. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's who, that's... That's the, the winner. winner of the re most ridiculous item was Birdman. Of last week. Yeah. But now, it's time for the most ridiculous <sighs> item of this week. Unless you want to save it and do it at the end. Yeah, let's save it and do it at the end. Okay, what that... else do we have to do? Oh, what's sold this what's week? What's sold? All right. Do you have yours ready to go? <laughs> Through the magic of editing. <laughs> you go first, though. <laughs> okay. Oh, I gotta find it. All right. So, what's new? <laughs> yeah, what is you new? Been good? Um, all right, yeah. Okay. So, last week I only sold the Hannah Anderson jammies. Remember that? That was the only thing, the only mm -hmm. thing I sold. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four. I have five this week. Five. Two of those were from today. What? Two were purchased today. They were from yesterday. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were from yesterday. Okay. Oops. What did I do? Okay. Oh, no. The first thing I sold is the J. Crew Vintage Argyle Cashmere Blend Sweater sold for $20. Nice. I think I was asking $24.99, I think. I don't remember. See, this doesn't tell me what. I know. Usually I write it down, but. Let's just move Okay, on. next, I sold the Eileen Fisher Mohair Wool Blend Sweater Vest for $18. <sighs> then I sold the 100% Cashmere, oh, 100% <laughs> Cashmere <laughs> Charter Check Club. Check an email or what? <laughs> Charter Club Luxury Leopard Print Sweater, 20 bucks. And then I sold the Custo Barcelona Vintage Embellished Pink Top for 30. Now this one I know I was asking 35 and they offered 30. And then the last one, Tianello Blue Green Floral Blouse Ladies 2X, $29.99. My full asking price. Nice. And this one I just listed yesterday. Wow, Those, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, that one sold pretty fast. Hmm. But, okay, so I always put best offer, like make an offer on my stuff, and people rarely make an offer. And you were saying people don't like to make offers? I don't know. It's like, I rarely get, here's what I get. I'll either get someone pays full price, people will offer half or less, or someone will offer like $2 less. Those are the, but generally, I rarely get that. Generally, I always just get the offer less than half just to do it. Okay, so what I, I have been pricing my stuff like at the top, <clears throat> excuse me. I look up what the stuff is going for mm -hmm. and I price it at the top of what it's going for. They go, they're going for with make an offer option, thinking they don't have to spend that much. What I'm asking, they can just make an offer, but they're not doing that. So I've decided. Instead of asking the top amount, like... Ask the bottom. Well, I'm pricing it a couple 
dollars lower right. than the lowest thing the item is going for on eBay. And that's what I'm going to do now. And I'll still have make an offer available. They can offer more. But just like when you yeah. go to the thrift store and they go, would you like to round up? Round up. <laughs> no. At the end, when you check out, they yeah. are. It, that's not just thrift stores. I think it's other But places. the thrift stores, you know, do you want to help so-and-so and round up? It's like, isn't that all the money if I'm giving you? If they are a charity <laughs> thrift store, yeah. Yeah. It's not the charity thrift stores doing it, though. It's oh, that's the, true. It's the corporate, like the it's Goodwills the and the art. Yeah, the corporate ones do yeah. that. So, they, so we round up, and it makes them look good that they're donating all this. Right. But they're not really. It's, they're not giving any money. Yeah. It's just. It's and, just and, and if you go to the thrift store like five times a week, and you round up, that's a lot of money. I yeah, think. it adds up. <laughs> it does. It's like, I mean, at first I was like, sure, round it up, but then. But then they'll go like, oh, it'll be like, uh, that's 10.04. Would you like to round up 96 cents? You have to look up your stuff? Oh, I do have to look up my stuff. How are you going to do it? Uh, I could use your phone and do All it. All right. Let's just pause. <laughs> and we're back. Uh, so these are things that I sold this week. Uh, I sold a few things. I sold that all-clad measuring cups and spoons set that I picked up, what, a month, two months ago or not, more? Not that long ago. $25. They paid the full price, what I was asking. I had dropped it over the time, uh, so I sold that. I sold that Oscar Blues Grateful Dead t-shirt that I actually was thinking about keeping for myself because it was kind of cool and it was my size. I sold that for uh, $19.99. 99. Good job. Uh, I sold the... Uh, I see a lot of 99s. I did a lot of 99s. <laughs> I, that was like 99 crazy. Uh, I got 99... No, I was going to say that song. Um... Uh, I sold the military 90s uh, t-shirt, uh, which was uh, all cotton, single stitch. Sold that for $17.99. Uh, I sold that, if you remember, the 1997 Pepperdine uh, college t-shirt. I remember that. Uh, I picked up two vintage things that day. I sold that for $17.99. I got an offer on ALF. Uh, <laughs> and I think he, they offered me like $20 for them. Uh, and I sold Alf. So Alf is, he's out the door looking for cats wherever he's going. Yeah. Uh, I sold the last, I believe, of all those hockey jerseys I picked up. A guy offered me, it's one of these, this is one of those things. Uh, it was a Colorado Avalanche jersey. I think I was asking 34. The guy offered me 15 or something like that. And I usually would just not even when they offer that low. But I countered at 30. And he bought it right away. So uh, that was really good. And I don't know if you saw this. This was an estate sale auction thingy I picked up. was a 1927. I sold this just today. Uh, 1927 Lincoln or Telephone. Yesterday. Or yesterday. Lincoln Telephone News Magazine, which was really a kind of a neat uh, item. That was, uh, it was for the local tel uh, telephone from 1927 for Lincoln, Nebraska. And a guy in Nebraska bought it. So he must have collected um that sort of stuff. So that's what I sold today. So, or that's what I sold this week. <laughs> yeah, not, not all today. today. Although we did have sales today. <clears throat> yep. That's what I sold this I week. I had two today. You had one so far. So far. And all right. Still early. So now it's time for the most ridiculous item of the week. <laughs> new one. And this is a new one that you can. Uh, we're going to show you, and then at the end, you can vote uh, to see who. It's the most ridiculous item of the week. Is it our past winner, <laughs> current winner, or our past winner? Uh, so why don't you go ahead, since you always go ahead, okay. and let's roll it. All right. So what we're looking at here is clothing for inanimate objects. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really silly, but I also thought it was kind of cute. So it's an apron. On a, on a bottle. I mean, interesting, right? It's interesting. It looks handmade. I'm sure there's not a company that's making these. No, but I liked it. <laughs> so much so. <laughs> I liked it so much so. So much so. That <gasps> I brought it home. Huh. Look at that. So this is it. So you see that detail that handmade detail what do you call that technique applique is it 
Why does it have a pocket? Or is it, yes, yeah, see that? It has a pocket. <laughs> Why does a like... bottle have a pocket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's something in the pocket. So did that bottle put it in the pocket? What is it, like? Maybe it's a recipe. A handkerchief? It's a handkerchief. A handkerchief. I don't know. Anyway, guess what? One day, this could be one of yours. It could be so the most So that's why I picked it up. This ridiculous item, I think. Because you could keep that ridiculous yeah, item if you wanted to. Yeah, I think someone could actually enjoy this. It even has a nice green bottle it comes with. So this is my ridiculous item. It's a good ridiculous item. It's just, you know, it's just like clothing for inanimate objects. What should we call it? We always need clever names. I should have thought of it before. Oh, yeah, I paid two fifty for it, by the way, just in case you're curious what this ridiculous item costed me. Costed me? <laughs> it costed you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. What should we call it? Um, bottle. Bottle cook. <laughs> <laughs> you're terrible. <laughs> We're not so good at this. You, no. you, you, you're usually I need time. Very I need time. <laughs> this is the stress. It's uh, uh, I don't know. We'll what do you think we should call? It? <laughs> yeah. Put it no, in the description we, yeah, below. You it's name a, it. Name it what you want. <laughs> tiny but, apron bottle. <laughs> yeah. Sure. That's mine. Now my item I did not purchase, uh, but it's pretty cool. Uh, roll it. This item, I was like, what is this? It's, it's this owl, but it's a bobblehead owl. And it, it bobbles. It's very bobbly. Uh, I don't know where you would put it. Maybe in a kid's room or you could put it. I don't know. You, you could put this in the back uh, parcel tray of your car and it could just bobble around as you're driving around. That might be kind of fun. What's the parcel tray? Oh. That's the official name. <laughs> Ooh, we get some some more trivia. What the where your speakers are, like uh, on the back of behind the back seat, there's usually a flat area in a sedan that you have your speakers or uh, back in the fifties kids used to sit up there and sleep, but it's called Sometimes a parcel I tray. Sometimes I see stuffed animal collections. Stuffed animal back hats, there. things like that. Uh, it's called a parcel tray oh, because okay. you would put your parcels there oh. on your way to the post office. But, but, but wouldn't that block your view? It, it was very, safety standards were, yeah, I guess so. back in the day, were very, it's called a parcel tray. That's what it's yeah. called. It's like a threshold. Nobody has thresh in their houses anymore. So, but we know all know what a threshold is. Is that just where you walk in the door? A threshold? <laughs> <laughs> Is where you walk through the door, but back in the day, uh, in in a house in England, they would put thresh, which is like straw, down um, for insulation. Oh well, yeah, there's aren't there? Or am I thinking of a thatch roof? You're thinking of a thatch roof, but they oh, use okay. straw everywhere. So, but they put thre thresh down on the ground. But what would happen is those houses were always breezy, and the wind would come in and it would blow the thresh. So what they did is they put this block of wood at the bottom of the doorway as a thresh hold to keep all your thresh from blowing out the door. Interesting. I didn't it's, know that. Every, every term you know has a meaning that usually is not related to anything that's modern today. It's because it came up years ago. And I hope in our history lesson, because this is now a history show <laughs> along with a thrifting show and a most ridiculous show, uh, but that's a threshold. That's okay. where we get the term. Nobody has the little step anymore there to keep stuff out because you trip every time you go through a door but back in the day that's what you would have but the threshold is basically the door to go through the your threshold yeah, yeah. all right all right so those are our two items uh bobble owl bobble owl bobble owl see i'm I, it just bobble takes me a minute to get going uh and sexy kitchen bottle <laughs> <laughs> Because that's all it's wearing is an apron when you come this into the a, kitchen. This is a female bottle. It's a female bottle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wearing an apron. It is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
All right. Uh, you vote. <laughs> you vote, vote for the most ridiculous item because now it's be turning into ridiculousness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even without the item. Well, with the item. <laughs> it followed us home yeah. and now it's ridiculous here. Yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. So Is those that are, everything? I think so. We've shown what we picked up because we didn't pick up that much. It, what we picked up, what we sold, most ridiculous winner of last week, and the most ridiculous item that you can vote for now. So uh, those are, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. If you like this sort of content, subscribe because uh, we're at 272. 272 and it's been like sitting there for days at 272. This is a hard, uh, I think it's an oversaturated maybe uh, Could be. genre on YouTube maybe. I don't know. Or maybe we just are very boring. <laughs> we could People be. don't want to subscribe, but... What's he talking about? A threshold? I don't want to... <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. But subscribe, subscribe <laughs> if you haven't subscribed. And if you are, thank you for subscribing. And we'll have more history facts. I'll just throw those out. Uh, or maybe we won't. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> uh, but we'll have... You'll definitely walk away going, huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that could be a good huh a or a bad guaranteed huh. huh. <laughs> a guaranteed huh. A guaranteed huh. So. An indifferent huh. Yeah. So uh, if you like anything we've uh, shown you uh, that will be in our Ebays, we each have our own, and they are in the description below. And if you go through past episodes, you will find even more stuff that we picked up. And if you go way back, you'll see stuff that will probably be selling pretty soon. So... Go back like a month or so because we probably still have that stuff on eBay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we can sell it. So, yeah. So that is, uh, that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you on the next. D&G Thrifts. D&G. Thrifts. Bye.